While this week's evicted castaway was never in doubt, it still didn't hurt any less. Seventh person voted out of Survivor 46. Tim, need to bring me a torch? Tim, the tribe has spoken. Thank you. Love y'all. Time for you to go. Another twist at Tribal Council led to this week's double elimination episode of Survivor. A shakeup at the immunity challenge left Tim Spicer without the numbers and the college coach from Atlanta was sent to the Survivor School of Hard Knocks. Tim is here to tell us what happened on another edition of TMS Torch Talk. Tim, the new era of Survivor is known for its twists and we saw yet another one this week when the tribe was split into two with each group heading to Tribal Council. What did you think when you saw two of your former SEGA members on the other side and unable to vote with you? I thought it was unfortunate. I thought I had the red buff on. I thought we were playing Survivor, so I just knew that I'd be able to vote with everyone opposed to being separated twice for this interesting type of vote. Now, Tim, at the beginning of the game, the Yanu tribe lost challenge after challenge and had to vote off member after member. How did they go from being at the bottom of the barrel to calling all the shots? Yeah, I think um, they were in a, the middle, which made it seem like they were between both tribes. And honestly, when the merge feast happened, being that Yanu was all safe, they didn't have to throw out a name and they didn't have anyone on their quote unquote chopping block because they had chopped so much. But if I knew in order to get screen time, you had to lose in order to build a bond with Jeff, you might want to lose early and just get familiar with tribal council. I would have considered throwing a challenge or two. Hmm. Okay. Now, Hunter was the biggest physical threat on your side, and despite him being so vulnerable after the twist, you still went home before him. Why did they choose you over him? Yeah, I think they're weak. I don't know why they wanted to see me as a bigger threat than someone that they've lost to majority of the challenge. I think that I did have a debate about why I'm not a threat and why Hunter should go home. He's led NAMI to mergatory, to the place where they are in the game now. And now that he's alone, I thought it was best to get rid of a threat instead of waste and a vote on anyone else. Tim, in real life, you help high school students apply to college. How did that experience help you in the game? I mean, it's all about managing relationships and talking to different type of people and knowing how to listen to what people are saying. I think when you're trying to help someone apply to college, you're pulling out the best of them so that they can perform at an institution. In this game, I was the motivator on the Sega tribe. I knew everybody's family and I knew everybody's skills and characteristics and it was in my best intention to use that to our advantage so that we could go far in the game. You were the last person to be voted off before the jury phase of the game begins. Yeah. Are you disappointed you were so close to making it to the jury or are you happy you were eliminated before it even started? <laughs> I'm happy about it because I honestly think if I had to sit there after being blindsided and watch the rest of the game, I would have been frustrated. But at the end of the day, I'm proud of the opportunity and I'm happy and thankful that Jeff saw something in me and casted me for season 46. Um, you can't win every game, but it was definitely a lot of lessons that I walked away with. You bet. Tim, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Thank you. Watch season 46. Some more craziness to happen. Let's see. Oh, for sure. And just to echo Tim's words, Survivor airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on Global and is available to stream on Stack TV. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel before you leave.